here at SARS here, we are going to be here all night long, all to ourselves on the USS Hornet here in San Francisco. We are super excited for this one. I hope you guys watch. Um, make sure you guys are subscribing. If you guys see anything, oh, be on the lookout for Boo. Again, we, we have no idea when he's going to make an appearance and stuff. So make sure you look out for Boo. Um, if you see him, comment the time, the timestamp and let us know. Um, but yeah, we are super excited. So, and help us out. If you guys see anything that we might miss or hear anything, then also comment, let us know. But we are super excited. Make sure you guys are liking our posts and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Thanks guys. I'd say the first experience I had on the ship, uh, we we're down below decks and I was being told what a lot of the scratches on the deck were from. And it's when they're rebuilding some of the ship as far as the uh, machine shop. So I'm standing in front of this one door and it's got a master lock on it. All of a sudden I hear a, a click and the lock itself opens. Um, not having a clue what opened it, I'm looking around and my quote unquote boss goes, oh yeah, and the ship's on it. And I look at him, I go, I can sign up for this. And five years later, I'm still here. Um, my first paranormal experience on the ship was for, I came here for a Paracon with my paranormal team. Um, it was the second annual one. And we were touring around, we went down to the laundry room, we were told to watch the overhead because it was really low. So I automatically went back behind the washers and dryers and was back there with a the teammate and just paying attention to my surroundings. And next thing you know, I felt a hand go like this to my hair, just like a full on hand go like this. I turn on my flashlight, I'm looking around, there's no cobwebs, there's no logical explanation and it's on fourth deck. No wind, no nothing. Um, and later on that tour, we went to one of the red room areas and I was sitting on the deck near the door because I really was hoping to have another experience. And um, I didn't know the kind of experience I had until after when I was reviewing my EVPs, I mean, my audio. And so I was listening, they had a flashlight on the table. I didn't know, we had a lot of people in a group and I had no idea, I was sitting on the deck and they're asking questions and the flashlight goes on and I'm just, in spotlight and I'm embarrassed because I got a room full of people just staring at me and I'm in the middle of this flashlight. And when I reviewed my audio a couple days later, you hear everybody excited about the flashlight and I got an EVP that said right at you red. It was the only redhead and it was right after the flashlight was shining right on me. Mostly I was hooked. I was hooked when I walked on board the ship, period. Um, I've been working for the um, part of the crew for five years now. I've had plenty, plenty of experiences throughout. So it was uh, one of the first nights my daughter came aboard and it was my daughter Megan, myself and Faye. We were up one deck up in what we call our break room, it's the crow's nest. So we were up there and we're just talking and we had flashlights set up and we had some uh, other equipment, um, K2 and whatever have you. And as we're sitting there, we figured that we're listening to Faye going through some audio and we hear this, I'm here. I'm right here, all three of us hear this. And we're looking around, I go, that's really cool. Can you rewind that so we can hear it again? And she goes, I'm not playing anything. And I go, what? And so my daughter's facing the door. I turn around and we see a sailor standing there. It's like an 80% of a sailor. And I'm looking at this thing going, what is it? And I turn and realize what I was looking at and it was gone. What was frustrating, I didn't get to see him. I felt him, sensed him over the door, and I kept staring at the door the whole time. And when I heard I'm right here, um, I darted towards the door to see who was actually, I thought maybe somebody came on board, was by the door, and it wasn't. So it was, I was kind of ticked off they got to see him, and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have like any names for us that we can kind of watch out for? Um, we get a lot of Samson, um, Bill and Bob, which is more co so common. Um, Sam. Sam. For short. For short. Um, mainly, we get a lot of Samson, is Her what comes John. up. John. Her John, yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's kind of what we've gotten. Do you have one spot on the ship that if you only had a, a short amount of time to investigate, what, would, what spot would that be? Admiral's quarters. Yeah. Which you guys will get to go to. Yeah, it's added. The other one that's used has been pretty good is um, down on third deck, uh, flight suit mess. Flight suit mess and then CPO birthing. So you guys will have access to that as well. Perfect. Yeah. That way you can see. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so right now we are in like a top secret 
communications room. Yep, CTA. Yeah, so there is some noise if you hear like a female's voice. Um, in another room, kind of a little bit further, there's like a radio thing that's constantly going off. So we do got to kind of cancel out that unless it's something really close to us that we might all hear. You've seen, you've seen us set up all this devices, what it does. Basically, it just lights up and it makes a noise. There's nothing that can hurt you. Um, it sounds like you've been through this stuff before. Uh, how about we introduce ourselves so we can all be acquainted? Yeah. So, my name is Danielle. Hi, I'm Mark. And I am Lisa. Paul. Christy. Allison. Nathan. I didn't mention, we have a special guest today, and it is Paul Welch. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! -da. Should we do, should we use a flashlight for yes or no? Would you like to communicate that way? Can you shut it off for us, please? There's like a tink noise by you. Maybe in that locker. I didn't catch it. Didn't he wants us to do Morse code. That would be a neat thing. I'm so rusty. <laughs> do you know Morse code? Morse code. It's right been there. ten years. Can you do the same things? Let's see. Lisa, can you show what that wire does? Oh, the antenna. Yep. This is our REM pod. Get close to it. So, can you communicate back using that REM pod right there? The device with the little red light. You've already used it once. That's you. Oh, what was that? Yeah, That's that your right. stomach. Yeah, no, okay. I got the growls, but there was something that dropped on here. It sounded like as if like a penny dropped or... It must have been the same time I heard your stomach because I didn't hear it. Should we try that again? <coughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. It sounded like walking sounds like above us. Steps. Oh, it sounds like someone's out here. There was something dropping in. I didn't hear that. Right when we start investigating, my stomach gets the demons. <laughs> well, no, no, it we, we sounded like there was footsteps out there. For our missed colleague. We found some Pepto there, girl. <laughs> what the hell? That was oh, shaking. That, that was that you? Was me. No, no, no. Oh, did you knock that? I just leaned up against it. It sounded like a motor turned on. I'm just going to stick my camera out here. See if I can see anything. Oh, shit. I'm not going in there. I'm just sticking my camera out. There was some movement back there. Is somebody out there? Guys, there's movement. Can you come this way? I so would go back in there, but I'm not allowed to. Okay, we are gonna, I'm gonna turn on the necrometer. Thanks. If there's someone here, in one of these rooms, we have equipment. Make a noise in one of the rooms that you want us to come into. You are in danger. I don't think so. No, I'm not in danger. Or, are we going to war? Are we at war? That, was that a, would have had to be them. That was a metallic again. Right, it was yeah, right behind I me. Too. I caught oh, it in I, this. I thought it would have been them, maybe. Like that no, far out? No, this was right behind me. There's another click right back That was me putting my hand on her. Mm. But what happened back here was not me. Might be them though. But it sounds like a conversation. Well, if there's conversation, it could be that radio thingy. That was just. No, it's like continual. This is a continual. 
It, no, it doesn't sound like a radio. It sounds like Thanks. it's a conversation. Keeps, so we oh, could be picking them. Oh, there's the geo. Sorry. Hello? That was me that set that off. Did we have somebody come to this blue light? If you tap that blue light, can you do it again? So that's the radio you'll hear. Did somebody set this blue light off? Are you upset that there's women in here? Are we getting in the way of your work? We'll it just off. Turkey trots to water. It, it, it just can do started that? printing. It's oh my god! <laughs> Thing. Turkey trots to water. It's repeating. It's repeating. So it's 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 communicating from somewhere. somewhere. But that's not what I tapped in. No, because you wouldn't tap the what? same thing twice. There's one thing Apparently. I tapped the same thing twice. And Can I you move your light for just a second? But it's not on there. Did it do the, the same way? It's the same. That's it's what it did right there. That's a message from something. But is it like part of the tour, or is this? They didn't say it went off. Well, <laughs> well we need to ask well, them. We'll ask them on our way out, maybe. If it does it again, then we might need to go ask so them now. But cool shit. I, what's it getting a transmission? So was both times you guys was tapping on the Morse code yeah. when that happened? Uh, try it again. Did you get that message in? Okay, so here's what that thing printed. Turkey trots to water GG from Sinpack. Is that what it printed? Is this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Where is, that's what Where it... is the task force? 30 or the world wonders. Because now it's not printing. I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to bet that it prints as part of the tour. But we may be wrong. <laughs> or y'all are gullible as shit. What do you mean? Did, did you do something? What did you do? Allison. She found a button. I was, I might have been letting on a little secret. Are you serious? <laughs> you little brat. <laughs> Paul was the most surprised. Uh, it freaked me out. The reactions were really Allison is our yeah, guest. Yeah, the reactions were epic. Move this rim pod. Oh, shit. Did you make that fall over? Okay, I'm going to set it back up and they'll see if you can do it again. Okay, I'm going to stand Claire back here. in your chair. Oh. oh, thank you. Okay, back away from it. Good job. Can you set it off again? I just want to confirm if it's you. It's just me in here. What can you do for me? Can you make that white light on the ground fall again? Yeah. Oh my God. 
I don't know why that scared me so bad. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, okay, let's see you tip it over. Can you walk in front of that black music box and play me a song with that? That's right in the doorway. Here we go. What's that? It went off before and now it just did a beep beep. What is it? The REM pod. And this. In there? Mm hmm. And this flashlight right here got I'm knocked sorry. over too. There you go. Good job. Yeah, the flashlight in there has been going on and off, responding to me as well. But really? There's. Yeah, this white one right here, it got knocked over. Knocked over? Yeah. There you go. Those are hard to get through. <laughs> Can you play me a song with that REM pod? That's awesome. You got two ladies in your room now. What do you think about that? Did it just beep? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Can you do more than a beep? Can you... Play a whole song? That one's like flickering, I can see it from here. Probably. Probably. <laughs> there wow. you go. Can you go like more colors? Just grip onto that antenna. Are you excited we're here now? Are you trying to do Morse code with it? Did you hear that? What's that? It's starting to seem like Morse code. Is there a certain direction you want us to go with that? If so, bang on the wall. It's out there. What yeah. is that? What is that? Uh huh. Is that you? The number five. That's a lot. The number five? Ooh, are you trying to give us the code to this? Cell phone. Okay. Can you tell us what the combination is to this locker? Both of you. Whoa. Both. Cell. What did it say? Are you a human both of trafficker? You, it said, no, it said both of you smell. Oh. It's not us that smell, it's that bathroom. Well, maybe it's good smells because we smell like girls. 12 o'clock, 1940s. What did it say? 12 o'clock and 1940s. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not. When was this operation? I don't know. Apparently we suck at history. I pretty, I, well, no, because it was usually all men, so maybe we smell good. I don't know, See, but this room's eight. kind of stinky. Oh, it likes that. Is, so is this room is stinky, but then we Office. came in and we smell good? Is that right? Touch that. Oh, yeah. Yay, we don't stink. It was completed in 1943. Oh, okay. 1940s, okay. Getting somewhere, and I just caught the goosebumps. The you hear all that? That sounds like walking. Isn't there like a catwalk? But, um, or fireworks. No, it sounds yeah, like there is, right walking. Outside of these portals is a catwalk. Yeah, it sounds like somebody's Me. walking up and down that. Yeah. Maybe. Well, Rare. Minor. Uh, is someone out there walking? Did the lights just turn on out there? There's the walkway lights. Yeah, there is. It seems like there would okay. be a cat walk right here because there's that blue bar. I understand you're trying to get us get give the. You understand? Just wait. I can't. Even I'm talk. listening to you. I'm trying. <laughs> I understand you want to get our attention, but you need to let us know a little more. If we Sir. need to help you, I need you to knock on something. 
Can you knock on something so we know you need help? Getting that? Yeah. It okay. sounds like they're walking up and down the catwalk. Yeah. If you are trapped here, make another noise for us. If you're trapped here, make another noise for us. It seems like it's trying to do Morse code. I know. But I heard yelling. Did you hear it again? Mm hmm Many years ago. Many years ago. What happened many years ago? Tell us your story. We would love to hear about it. Scare you. Do, do they scare you? It says scare you. I'm no, thinking, I just, do I scare you? No, I think I just get a little overwhelmed in here. I just got goosebumps on my right arm. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's going up the whole oh, body now. Whoa. Oh, there you are. Yep. Holy oh, shit. That was weird. <gasps> we just to see we should have brought a thermometer. It felt like it dropped. It did get a little bit colder yeah. too, huh? Oh my gosh, the chills are really. Oh my gosh, it's like head to toe. This man in this picture, is this you? Is this you? Hey, where Look at that. That was like in the closet. Oh. Is that one of our people coming to us or is it? What? What is that? That's on the catwalk again. What the hell was that? That sounds like something opened and then closed like something electronic. Like what the hell? It sounds like someone's out there, but nobody go, can be out there. So. No, no. <gasps> You're coming in here, aren't you? Okay, I'm kind of hearing like war noises. Like yeah. that sounded like a yeah, missile yeah. or airplane or like, like a wrong. Well, it also like, because they have to raise the missiles up to the deck to load them. Yeah. And this was a bomb elevator. That's what it sounded like in one of those lifts they showed us. Yeah, the grinding yeah. of the chains or yeah. something. So I don't know like... how it works exactly. Okay, we heard you coming in. What the hell is that? That's them. What? The... I don't know if you guys are hearing this or not, but... Not someone coming this way, so I'll like... Yeah. He's a burn patient, he's not gonna... He's not gonna move. Are you hot? Are you on fire? Is your skin burning? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I even moved it a little bit and he's still there, so. Where is he? Right on the wall behind you. Like in this area? No, the other no. area. No, over here? Right behind you. Like right behind you. Behind put, your put back. Put your right arm out. Yeah, right, right there. Right there. Are we sharing the same bed right now? You are. He's just sort of hiding out. What happened to you? Was it fire then? Explosion? Explosion? 
I don't want to move because I'm. <laughs> if I move, it'll probably go away. Well, it's fine. Yeah, walk to the other bed. See if he stays there. It's it's over in this bed. No, no. you go to that bed. <clears throat> okay, stay there. He he did. He stayed right there. Well, I'll be down. Can I do something for you? Do you want a drink? Does anybody have a cup? Uh, we have a cup in our bag. Where's the bag? I'll get it. Do you want to grab one? Yep. Let's record. Are you thirsty? Do you need some water? Here, let me fluff up your pillow. Is that better? Is that more comfortable? Quick up. Here, I'll give you a drink of water. You want to put some water in it? I think I can just okay. pretend. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, is he? Okay. Did you leave? Did I scare you? No, yeah, it's tracking her. But he's gone. Wow, that was cool. Did someone come to help you? Do you, do you want to stay here? Do you want to come down to the front of the ship? Or the back I'll of the ship? I'll come with you guys now that that stopped. Wow, that's crazy. Came to check out some of Moxicillin. Moxicillin, penicillin, all that kind of cillin. Yeah, what we need? I'm going to run it up real quick. If you'd come talk to us, we'd be really grateful to some military guys. so they knew what they were getting. Oh, 
And you have to tell us to leave if we're not allowed to be in here. Say one of our names. Say one of our names. People. Do you like it when people tour the ship? Hey. Hey, you just for guessing. Hey, did you say hey? Yeah. Okay. So you said my name. What's your name? I said my name. I did. No. <laughs> We're just here to talk to you. Arnold. Arnold. Yeah, Arnold. Arnold again. We had Arnold earlier on the other end. Oh, we did. Is your name Arnold? I just got the chills. Are you a doctor? Nate yeah. again. Hello. There's somebody else in here with you, Arnold? Paul. <laughs> Who's Paul? Me. So, so is there another person in here called Paul besides Paul that's right here with me? Yes. Was there a spirit that followed one of us in here? Wesley. Wes? I'm oh, sorry, I said Wesley. Uh, I heard the Wes part. Is Wes here? Did anyone follow us here? Are you stuck here? Free to leave. You say free? Paul again. We're going to be here till morning. We'd really like to talk to you, learn more about you. The girls are going to be sleeping right down the hall there. Mistake? Did it say mistake? It did the same thing. Mistake? <laughs> Is it not safe to sleep on there? Instead of saying Nate and Paul is really easy, I want you to say Hornet. Do you want me to go get it? I miss talking. Well, we're here to talk. We're here to listen. We can understand you. Should we turn these operating lights all on for you? Want me to get up on here? Got a 
issue. Are you going to use a propofol drip? Because I want to be completely out. I don't want to feel a damn thing. I'm afraid if you put me under, I'm not going to wake up. The church. The church? Yeah, we can't go to the church. Someone's already down there. Doctor, this really hurts. You gotta fix this. I've got a family at home. I need you to help me so I can get back to them. So are you gonna start an IV? Boy, it's quiet. Very quiet. I'm only so quiet she turn Spirit of Sound, see if it wants to talk that way. Sure. Okay. Harry. Harry? Okay, doctor, let's talk. Let's talk? Yep, let's talk. Doc, I need you to fix me. Treat? If you fix me, you can have that cookie. Are you kidding? <laughs> Is that what it said? <laughs> That's what I thought I heard. <laughs> no, we're not kidding. You can have it, but you need to do surgery quickly. The trap. The traps. I. I'm frightened being in this bed. I don't want to be here. You gotta fix me, Doc. To whoever is in here, my name is Lisa. This is Christy. This is Mark. We'd like to talk to you. We want to know about you. Well, I'm a I need a liter of saline open stat. Them. Who's them? Get, get up on there. I'm talking with. Are you mad because there are girls in here? Uh oh, what if I put a cookie on a sterile field? What will happen then? Wait. Wait? Yep. What, you don't like that idea? What happens when somebody puts food on a sterile field? Or even touches a sterile field? Oh. Hmm? Food. And said food. Food. Yeah. Are you mad? You should be. Come eat. Yes. Come eat. Yes, I sleep. Nice. Keep it. 